we have found a solution for the bees. And no, we, we haven't actually found them. <laughs> They're still gone. And quite frankly, we've spent just too bloody long looking for them. We've looked everywhere in our area. I just can't find them. They're probably here somewhere. In fact, they're kind of taunting me over there. Just over there, at that old stump there. That's where their hive used to be, and that's where a bit of the honeycomb is on the ground, where I've pulled the hive apart when we were trying to extract them. They're hanging around. Well, some bees are hanging around, eating all the honey that was there. They're really taunting me. But we found a solution. When we started down the path with the bees, I spoke to a friend of mine who actually has bees, different person who gave us all the suggestions, but um, this person has a flow hive as well, and she's found a second hive of bees, and she's managed to capture that swarm as well. So we're getting those bees, and we're gonna go there tonight to get them. And we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, we'll pick them up, strap them down, bring them here, and in the morning, not tomorrow morning, but the, yeah, yeah, tomorrow morning, um, we'll transfer them into our hive. But we have a problem with our hive. It's not a problem with the hive as such, it's more like a problem with where it's located. Um, right there, I think you see it there, yeah, just there is where the hive is. And that's been in the shade pretty well all day. And that's not what we want. Here, it gets incredibly hot in the summer, especially in the later afternoon. So this here has actually been in the shade most of the day. So that's not gonna work. We want it to be reasonably sunny through probably up until the middle of the day for us here, and then in the shade if we can. But we still want it to face east, and we still want it to have a good flight path in. So no, not too many obstructions. So I think I found a better place for it. Thinking about putting it here, because right now it's in the shade, but earlier today, up until just after lunchtime, this here was also in the sun. And a couple of hours later, it's moved into the shade with these trees here. And in the late afternoon, when it's really, really hot, this gum tree here will give it some shade. So I think this is the spot, but we need to prepare it before we bring the hive over. The ground here is reasonably flat, but it's not flat enough. We've got to get the hive, the hive has got a couple of little spirit levels in it and you've got to get them level, which basically puts the hive a little bit tilting towards the back. So I'll prepare the ground here, I'll put a couple of concrete pavers here, then we'll move the hive. When the bees come here tonight, we'll leave them in a box, their own hive next to this one. Then um, tomorrow, we'll, when the sun's up, we'll open these two up and we'll basically, we'll have the queen caught already. Then we'll swap out these frames for some of Kate's frames and bring the brood into this box and they can live in here. Should be good. So this is obviously just the brood box. And once the bees are established into that brood box, we'll check it out. And once they've run out of room in the brood box, we'll put the queen excluder on the top of it, put the super on top of it. So it's going to sit up about this high then. And up the top part of it is where we, where we get all the honey in. The queen won't be able to go up there and lay any eggs. It'll all be honey. And before you know it, We'll be eating honey, and we eat honey all the time. We use it in cooking. Sarah has it pretty much every day for breakfast. I'll have it every other day for breakfast. We use it pretty well every day. In fact, when we do like groceries and stuff, um, we do some of it in the, in the town here, most of it in the town, um, as in we drive to town to a small supermarket there. But then we pretty much bulk buy, when I say bulk buy, we just buy lots of honey. Um, from online store like Woolworths or something, one of the big chains. Because in town, there's not that much of a selection of honey. In fact, there's not much of a selection of pretty well anything. You've got all your things that you could get and get by, 
but when you want a bit of a selection you kind of restrict it a little bit so we buy a bit online and um, that comes from Australian beekeepers, companies that keep, a, keep bees. We've been to um, their shops and stuff in person. So that's what we do. Um, so now we just wait until dark and uh, I'll show you what we do tomorrow.